do you want to make use of the older monitors that you have but it doesn't have an HDMI connection to support a, if you like a more modern laptop this old monitor which I have here in front of me only has a VGA input whereas the more modern laptop which I have in front of me here this Lenovo um, laptop only has an HDMI connection so clearly an issue if you like trying to connect them up at the moment so I've looked around and basically bought an HDMI to VGA converter which is here in front of you so I'll be showing you in this video what you need and how to use the converter in a moment so you can make full use of those old monitors. We'll also be looking at how to extend or duplicate your screen and also either show on monitor one or two only. We'll also have a really useful tip at the very end of the video with regard to rearranging your screens so you can actually set them so that the flow is either on the left or the right. Hi guys, this is the Tech Guru. Welcome. We're all about helping you to understand or solve tech related matters to make your life easier or even tech related product or service reviews so you can make informed decisions when it comes to buying products or services. So let's jump in. OK, so let's dive more into the detail. I bought a new laptop, this Lenovo Idea 320 IdeaPad with a 14 inch screen as my old computer died. But then as time went on, I was using it more. I wish I'd have had a bigger screen because I do quite a lot of design work, um, use large spreadsheets, etc. So that was obviously a, a bigger screen would have been much better. But then I remembered I actually got a much larger mon monitor in the attic space in the garage. So I managed to find this, which was great. The reason I wanted to use the monitor was that it cost quite a bit of money some years ago. Um, I remember the quality was good. The resolution was good. But also the screen size importantly was large as well so that enabled me if i could get this working sort of to to use it so i guess the task for me was to actually go about trying to find sort of where the vga vga and the hdmi connection could work so after quite a bit of looking and researching on amazon i found this here this tr manufactured product which is an hdmi to vga adapter converter um, it had 4.4 out of five stars on amazon so I was really pleased with that. So I've been using that for a while now and basically it's transformed the, the laptop so I can use sort of one screen, both screens, duplicate or extend, etc. So um, I can use sort of the old monitor now, which is fantastic. The reason I wanted to share this with you today is because probably some people out there don't know you could actually use your old monitors um, because it's got an older VGA connector. So in this video, I'm really going to sort of show you how to actually go about using them or using this adapter, which is a simple but great piece of technology. OK, so talking about the product in a bit more depth, it's a gold plated high speed 1080p active HDTV HDMI to VGA adapter converter, uh, male to female. Please note, though, this cable only converts HDMI to VGA, so it only does that. Um, it supports resolutions up to 1920 by 1080 p so in essence full HD and according to the supplier which is the manufacturer is called TR um, the product is compatible with Apple TVs PCs laptops etc so as you can see here a gold sort of HDMI um, that's the plug at that end and then at this end you've got the VGA side of things so the VGA cable goes in there and then just to add to this, you've got a micro USB port as well for devices with low power output and a 3.5 millimeter audio output as well. So you can attach speakers or headphones, for example. There's more detail about the HDMI to VGA converter in the description below if you want more information about the specifications. And also there's a link um, to where it was purchased from. So more information there for you. But if you're enjoying this video today and want to see similar related videos in future which are related to technical how to's where you can help you sort of solve problems or if you want to sort of see further products and service reviews in future then please smash that subscribe button now okay so i'm now going to go ahead and demonstrate how to actually connect the laptop up to your old monitor using the hdmi to vga converter so we'll go ahead and do that now so We've got an old, if you like, or a VGA cable, simple cable VGA connection um, or, or both ends. So we've got that. And then we've got the HDMI to VGA converter here. So uh, 
I've connected the old monitor up, by the way, to one end of the VGA cable to, for the purpose of the video, just to cut down on time. So literally, if you put the VGA into the converter, it's the male to female, just tighten that up as well, just to make sure loose connections can be a bit, a bit of a pain sometimes if you're sort of projecting to another monitor or put, going to connect into another monitor. And then if we put the HDMI cable into the actual laptop itself, and turn on the old monitor. If you go into the display settings on your computer, you can make various uh, changes. So at the minute you can identify, for example, that this is monitor two, and the other monitor, which you can see there, is monitor one. We can extend them. So in essence, have two different displays going on. We can duplicate the displays where you have the same going on on each monitor. So keep the changes there if you want to, but if not, revert to what it was. You also have the option to show on display one only, so you can just have one monitor on. So let's keep changes or revert. And similarly, you can have showing on monitor two as well only. So again, you can keep changes or revert. Okay, so one useful tip is that when we have extended the displays, obviously duplicate, you're doing the same on both screens. Um, I've never really used that to be fair with you that often in terms of productivity. But if you are, say for example, wanting to use both screens for different content, I mean, for example, like in Excel here, we've got two books open. What we can do, for example, is if we drag the other one to the desktop, say, for example, you could be working on this one. So this is a OK, so, for example, you could be working on this one. But then if you click on the other one, You can work on that so i use this quite often for example on spreadsheets and obviously you can do it on word the internet quite a lot of different um it's really useful because you can use it sort of with a lot of different programs especially if you're working sort of with two lots of data or if you're comparing for example so uh, you can do that so you could be working on this one for example save it and then you could be working on the other one and saving it for example so so i find that really useful you may find that really useful as well But one thing you've noticed is the laptop is on the right hand side here. So everything sort of is dragged across the right hand side. But what we can do is if, say, the laptop was on the other side of the old monitor, we can literally just swap the settings around. So if you go into the display settings in the control panel, as you saw there, I identified them earlier. So I've literally dragged monitor one to the left hand side. So you can apply that as well. So now, as you'll probably see the difference here, you have to drag to the left hand side so again that's uh, really useful especially if the, the laptop's the other side so you can adjust that accordingly so just really wanted to share that tip with you but in terms of the actual hdmi to vga sort of adapter converter that's really a quick demonstration of how it works and how you can actually use those on monitors well after this video we hope you, that you'll be able to make use of those on monitors now i actually use this monitor as you can see it's a quite a lot bigger screen the laptop so I find it really useful so thanks for watching today on how to connect the HDMI to VGA converter adapter up to the laptop and the old monitor if you've enjoyed what you see please subscribe for further tech related videos in future whether it's how to or product or service reviews but also if you're interested in finding out how to connect your laptop to TV using an HDMI cable there's a link on screen now so just click on that but until next time thanks for watching